To say that relationships between Israel and the Republic of Ireland are slightly rocky at the moment would be akin to describing Everest as a small hill. However, leaving that aside, um, issues like the ongoing kerfuffle over the Unifil soldiers and the IDF, not the Irish Defence Forces, the other other IDF, the, the Israeli Defence Forces. This news article struck me today, looking through the Irish news. Um, let me get rid of that lot first. A Fine Gael councillor has apologised for remarks she made at last night's Dublin City Council meeting during a motion on the occupied territories. Councillor Pernar Rene, who represents the Kim Major at Ratmines Ward, said during the debate that the USA should have taken a stance, but how many of you know that the Euro entire USA economy is ruled by the Jews, is ruled by Israel? They will never be able to take a stance. Now, I can see some of you out there probably going typical. I can see it. I, I don't approve of it. Let me get that. because Going on, this, that's typical of how Muslims talk. The problem is, Councillor Rana is Hindu. And Hindus generally have tended to be less fought right in this sort of um, anti-Semitic battleground and less inclined to enter into it, although there have been some examples of it. Um, it doesn't it hasn't gone down well, uh, as you could imagine. People with for-profit councillor Con already asked her to clarify the reworks, describing them as unhelpful, um, putting it mildly. Her remarks on Jews controlling the American economy, I think that's tremendously unhelpful. We're all in here in solidarity with Palestine. To equate Judaism and Zionism is a complete fallacy. It's wrong, and I think we all stand against anti-Semitism. And it would be helpful if we, she could withdraw that particular user. The problem with this councillor's remark is it brings up the old idea that anti-Zionism is one inch away from anti-Semitism, and it is true sometimes. Some anti-Zionists are anti-Semitic as well, but it is possible to legitimately criticise Israel and not have any dislike of Jews. There's plenty of Jewish people who do it, and there are plenty of Jewish organisations that are not overly fond of Israel as a secular state. Orthodox Jews, for example, have a strange and ambiguous relationship with it, where they're happy to live there, but they don't regard it as a state as according to the Torah. To quote, Councillor René responded, yes, that's fine. I didn't mean a particular community. I'm just saying that the US economy is ruled by the Israelis. Well, if you didn't mean a particular community, why have you just mentioned one again? It's that's a bit of a non-apology. It's not wrong. They have worked hard for it. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that the US is not able to take a stance today because of their financial dependency. Now, much as she's expressed it in the most clumsy way known to man, there is some truth in that. There are too many vested interests on in both Israel and the US for the US to wish upsetting the apple cart and too many issues revolving around defence, oil, and all sorts of other issues. That, But those issues would be true if the population of Israel was replaced tomorrow with entirely, I don't know, we'll, we'll replace them with Romanian Catholics for the sake of the argument. The practical fact of the matter is because it's sitting in such a strategic location, the problem would arise. But, of course, the problems are compounded because of the unique history of the area and the unique history of, of the Jewish people as to the problems. And Miss Rene's comments will be seized upon um, as they have been, as you'll see. This morning in a post on X, or Twitter as we used to call it, Miss Rene apologised for the comments and withdrew them. I completely withdraw my comments made at last night's city council meeting in relation to a motion on the occupied territories. But I was wrong, and I feel apologise. It, um, Mr. Marcus out here thinks probably the Finnegal party uh, bigwigs probably had a, a quick word in her shell, like and told her to dock it off before they co she caused the uh, Irish nation extreme problems. The Jewish representative council of Ireland has said it is appalled by the remarks. Her subsequent apology is not accepted, and Fine Gael should consider whether she ought to be removed from the pie. I think that's something for Fine Gael to consider, not not anyone else. The Jewish community is also apologised by the fact that these remarks coincided with a remembrance ceremony held in Terranur Synagogue for 1200 slaughter on the 7th of October 2023. It must be said she did choose a very stupid moment to make these com comments. It would be like making comments about Jews ruling the world on Holocaust Memorial Day or something. Um, as an example of how to insert your pedal extremity into your mouth, it's hard to beat.
comments like this have led to Ireland being labelled as the most anti-Semitic country in Europe. Well, there's various views on that, and I will say I have encountered on various Irish forums criticism of Israel that stepped over into some sort of quite repellent stuff at times and and quite unpleasantly repellent, um, which I, I find distasteful. We call on all party leaders to listen to the Jewish community in Ireland to understand the rise in anti-Semitism. Dublin City Council has voted unanimously to support the Sinn Féin motion demanding the Irish government enact the occupied territory bill and cut Irish trade ties with Israeli goods and services producing the region, which leads me right back round to where I started with the increasingly rocky nature of Israeli-Irish relationships, which seems to show no signs of thawing. As an extra, I'm going to include as a link to this um, uh, a video on Punam Rani where she's impactful women serious 2024, Councillor Punam Rani Finnegal, just so you can see something of her talking, although I'm not going to go through it here. <laughs> 